Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first how to draw video. And the character we are going to draw today is Joe Gardiner from the new hit movie, Soul. Now, we're going to start out with the middle of our paper. And we're going to do the glasses. So, we're going to put our marker down and do a rectangle right around the middle of the paper like that now if yours doesn't look just like mine it's okay we're just practicing now we'll do another rectangle but a little bit bigger around it Now, with this shape we've done, we're going to color it in. Okay, now, inside, we're going to do the eye. Now we're just going to do a half circle shape. And now we're going to come out, around, and back in. Now we're going to color that shape in with our marker. Now you can use any art supply you have to color or to even draw. You can use marker, colored pencil, and you can even use oil pastels. Let's do the next step. We are going to do a short line across and do another line right there. Just below it. And then connect those two lines. Color that in. Now, doing the same steps we do have done before, we're going to do a rectangle, but this time we're going to do the outside one first. So a big rectangle, and now a little bit smaller one inside of that. Now if you mess up, it's okay, keep going. And if you don't like your end result, just watch the video again. Okay, now we're going to do the same step we did for the eye on the other side, on but on this side. We're going to do a half circle, come out, around, and back in. Now we're going to color that shape in. Now, if you want, you can skip to where I color to see the end result. Um, just to see what it's going to look like. Um, if you want, you can even go for a lineless style. So, that you would do uh, alcohol markers with. Uh, so, you would just take the skin tone color the darkest one you have and then just go around steps I do uh, depending on what parts of the body it is the head the body uh, the hair yeah um, so let's do the next step now we're gonna come out with a diagonal line from the glasses And then we're going to curve down with a curve coming right around there, back up, and in. Now we're going to color that shape in. Now 
Now, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, but a little bit shorter. Out, round, back in. Now, we're going to do the hair, which might be a little bit of a tricky step, uh, but, yeah. Um, but first we have to do the hat. So, we're going to come up, around, down, up. A curve around and down. Now we're gonna do. We're gonna get come out from the inside of that sheet and come outside the shape and come down and around. So all these steps are kind of the same in a way. And then just do a kind of like a snake shape. And you can make any of these lines thicker if you want. Just depending on the look you want to go for. Now we're going to make the eyebrows. So we're going to come out from a little bit over the eye. We're gonna do a shape kind of like this, um, and then I like to do my characters always kind of sad with the eyebrows, like going down. But then I like to put a smile on their face, if uh, as if they're nervous. So then we're gonna come down and then back up and color that. So we're going to redo that step on the other side. Up. And you can do your eyebrows any way you want. I just like doing them like this. So they're kind of like nervous. But also like deciding something. Uh, so like one eyebrow is above the other one. So then we're going to come out. And then out again with this one. And then color it in. I like it so far. Um, now if you want to color along the way. Um, I recommend you use the brand of marker. Uh, Cali Art. Um. It just has really good natural uh, blends. So let's get back to drawing. Now we're going to come down with a straight line. And from the glasses, well, we're going to end that at the glasses and then start from the glasses with a few curves. And then color that in. And then we're going to come from the hat, but a little bit, let's say weirder, more weird of a shape. So it's skinnier. A little bit skinnier, a little bit longer. And just keep fixing that up until you get it the right way you want. Now, he has a buzz cut in the movie, so you can't really see it, but we can put the curves because it goes up and around. So we can put the curves there, though. Now, he has a longer face, so we're going to come up like this. And we're going to actually put the ear 
and do a line like that and then a line coming from that like that and he has a, like a gigantic nose so let's draw that and then we do that boom and then draw the nostrils and then And then that. Now he kind of he looks funny. I like it though. I think it's pretty cool so far. Um. So let's do the body. And I like doing the bodies really small. And most of the movie, he has on a turtleneck kind of sweater. So we'll do like a color, like this shape, kind of like a bandana, and then we're going to do lines coming down, but don't make them touch the very bottom of that bandana shape. Now, we're going to do just a few lines down. And then just kind of form of a body as I do it. And then come down the pants. And then boom. Come back up. Back down. Back up. Color in that shape. Those shapes. Climb the pants. And we can just do homes like this. Like half circles. Like this. And then, if you want to add a little bit more uh, contrast to it, you can do a little background. So, like, I can just do like a sketchy kind of background. Kind of looks like that, like hairy. Um, if we want, we can keep going, then maybe add a tree, and then come out, and around, and back in, and if you want, you can add a little bit of contrast to the tree, by just kind of making it look scruffy. And there it was, Joe Gardiner. Um, and if you want to add more to this, you definitely can. Um, oh, wait, we forgot something. The other ear. Okay, and then we're just going to add a little small area. Because he's actually looking uh, this way. Like this way. So you can't see most of the sides details and I'm just gonna make the eyebrows a little bit thicker and there it was how to draw go to Joe Gardiner um and I'll post uh, some clips of the movie if you want to check it out. Um, I'll post some links to the clips of the movie uh, in 
the description down below. And I'm gonna color it, be right back in three, two, one, boom. Um so that's the finished go Joe Gardener. Um but right now I'm gonna teach you how you can put a little more fanciness into it. Uh, how to blend the colors so uh, now with the skin tone we're gonna get a dark brown and just gonna go around all the areas and don't go uh, on the nose go around the nose yeah go around the nose and then, um, smile. And round a little bit of the ear that you can see on that side. And come back on the side, finish off this ear. And then if you want, you can do it on the sides of the neck and a little bit on the hands and on a tree okay now we're gonna get a similar one uh so you can just test that over uh, on another sheet of paper see how it turns out um and do that with all the colors really because you don't know how they're gonna turn out and you wouldn't want to ruin your art Yeah, comment down below if you want to see more art videos. I mean, all my videos are going to be about art, but... Um, now, just try to get lighter as you go. And if you don't have a really light color, you can just try to... With the lightest one you have, just try to press a little lighter as you go. So now we can do, oh, we need to do a tree. Darkest one we have. And if it's not a really detailed area that you need to detail, don't worry about that. Now we're going to go with the tree and the hat. And I'll be right back. And there it is, the finished goat. Joe Gardener, and now all you have to do is sign it. Now we're finished. I didn't color around the eyes. I thought it'd be a little more cool. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up. It looks a little bit like this. Um, hit the subscribe button. And also, ha make sure to have those notifications on so you can know when uh, every video I post comes out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye!